Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the cheapest coins anywhere, check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. It's time for my yearly playoff prediction video. The last couple of years, I've honestly been very, very good at predicting which team was going to make the Super Bowl, which team even was going to win the Super Bowl, and a lot of the other matchups as well. Now, with that being said, guys, we're just going to hop right into it, and we're going to get into my 2023 NFL playoff predictions. Starting off, we're going to go over the AFC wildcard round to start off with the Texans and the Browns. I think that this is going to be a very, very very good matchup uh now of course houston does have the home field advantage here they are going to be hosting and i personally am a huge fan of this texans team i think that in a couple of years this team is going to be really really good obviously they are the fourth seed out of the afc uh cj stroud had one of the best rookie you know qb seasons pretty much of all time i am very very big on cj stroud i do believe that within like the next year or two pretty much everybody will see him as a consensus uh, top six to seven QB. I really like him. That defense, uh, especially in the run game, they really do show up. Tank Dell, unfortunately, so did have that injury, and that run game, of course, is showing up. Now, taking on the Browns, though, who are going to be visiting here on the road, their defense is very, very elite. Joe Flacco, surprisingly so, uh, has absolutely been on fire. And Amari Cooper, monster end of the season. I will say this as good as I think the Texans actually are as a team, I think the Browns, right now, especially defense defensively will be able to work some magic and i do have the browns beating the texans in the wild card round next up we have kansas city and the dolphins now of course kansas city right now they've been dealing with some issues offensively you know with the drops uh with some injuries as well you know kelsey has kind of been banged up pretty much all year long a lot of people do think that travis kelsey uh this could potentially be even his final year i know a lot there's been a lot of like rumors about that but I do feel like with Patrick Mahomes out there, uh, this has been one of the best defenses that KC has had in a very, very long time. Taking on the Miami Dolphins, of course, with Tyreek Hill, with Tua, Jalen Waddle. We will see if he is good to go uh, for that game. You know, Devon A-Chain, I really like him. And defensively, unfortunately so, they have had some big time injuries lately with Jalen Phillips and Bradley Chubb, you know, losing their two best pass rushers to season ending injuries. Uh, that is very, very unfortunate. I do have in my my personal opinion Kansas City advancing and beating the Miami Dolphins in the wild card round and then finally out of the AFC we do have the Bills taking on the Steelers and I don't really think this needs uh, much explanation in my personal opinion obviously the Steelers right now they are probably the worst team in the entire NFL playoffs there is maybe a second worst team that I could say just because of how poorly they are but from top to bottom the roster with how things are going uh, with the TJ Watt injury we are not sure if he's gonna be playing in the wild card round yet as well uh, that definitely would affect their defense offensively you know somehow some way Mason Rudolph has been able to make it work but versus the Buffalo Bills I don't see it happening out of the AFC I do have the Browns advancing I also do have the Chiefs advancing and I have the Buffalo Bills advancing so the only upset there uh, would be the Browns over the Texans but in my personal opinion I don't really think that's much of an upset as I said I've been pretty good this year at deciding which teams are going to win games and also which players are going to perform good in those games but if you guys think you're pretty good at deciding those as well make sure to check out underdog fantasy the NFL playoffs are starting which means it's your final chance to check out underdog fantasy for the nfl season now for those of you guys that are not familiar with underdog fantasy it is an app that you guys can use to up to 20 times your money in one night and with the nfl playoffs starting this is your last chance to get in on this nfl season you guys can go through and pick between two to five players for up to a 20 times multiplier on your entry and you guys can use insurance where if you miss one you still win now that's not it though underdog also offers in-game pickums you guys can get in on games when they've already started at halftime whenever you guys want to and they also have nba college football which of course is about to end college basketball ufc so many more things to check out no matter what time you guys are watching this video if you sign up on underdog fantasy right now using code zerk not only will they double your first deposit up to 100 you also get a 0.5 yards or point special 
for you guys right now in underdog fantasy a free hit so if you guys have not already checked out underdog fantasy make sure you do so and use code zerk i definitely expect to see a couple of extra specials as well throughout the playoffs and definitely for the super bowl follow me over on twitter for my picks now on to the nfc side starting off at the top we do have the buccaneers taking on the eagles and as i just said i feel like the steelers you know might be the worst team in the playoffs if they're not the worst team though they're second worst and that's to the eagles the eagles right now this is one of the absolute just biggest self-destructions that i have personally seen uh in recent years you know they started off really really good and i do believe they lost the last five of six games if i recall correctly off the top of my head uh the aj brown injury as far as i am aware right now uh they did say that due to initial test they believe his acl is intact which is awesome news there uh jalen hurts also had like a finger injury i believe it was just a dislocation they popped back in but that team just overall they are struggling mightily defensively offensively they are just not really able to do much at all uh and again they are going to be going on the road here they're going to be going to tampa bay to take on the bucks who have been playing very very good football baker mayfield playing really good mike evans has had some very very good games and the defense has made some great plays recently as well so uh, more so just how bad the eagles have been and not so much how good the bucks have been i do know that earlier in this year you know these teams faced and the bucks just could not stop the run game at all of the eagles i don't think it's going to be that way i have the bucks advancing and beating them next up we have the lions and the rams and this is going to be a great great game i gotta say this is one that i'm really really looking forward to seeing uh during the wild card round you know matt stafford of course you know going back to detroit that is going to be a really really good game uh, i think it's going to be a very high scoring game the rams right now are red hot puka nakua still having an absolutely amazing uh rookie season there of course you know cooper cup is back now stafford has been hot kieran williams that run game the defense have been making plays and the lions as well you you know jameer gibbs dave montgomery offensively been really good they did just have the sam laporta injury and i do believe that he might end up missing the wild card round uh, i will say this i have the rams upsetting the lions again very high scoring game close game for sure no doubt about it but i think the rams take that one then finally we have the cowboys taking on the packers the packers are going to be visiting the cowboys uh, i will say this of course the cowboys at home they are a completely different team than on the road the cowboys getting the two seed was absolutely massive for their playoff hopes uh Dak in my personal opinion is probably the runner-up MVP to Lamar Jackson CD Lamb played like the best wide receiver in all the football this year and obviously you guys are all aware of how good that defense is uh taking on the Packers you know Christian Watson he was inactive this week could have been a little bit precautionary there as he was questionable to play he probably will play versus the Cowboys there Jordan Love has played really really good and of course that defense is not all that bad so I do think it's gonna be a pretty good game however I think the Cowboys win probably by seven to ten points i have them advancing at home they're just a different team but as you guys can see this is how i have things shaking out going into the divisional round so starting off again on the afc side we have the ravens taking on the browns a divisional game at that the divisional games are always very very close uh both defenses you know playing at a top top level but I feel like, in my personal opinion, the Ravens are probably the best all-around team, maybe in the entire NFL, uh, but I think most certainly out of the AFC. And uh, someone like Joe Flacco, I don't think has what it takes to beat the Baltimore Ravens in the divisional round here. You know, obviously the Ravens as well, they get a week off uh, to rest up. Mark Andrews, will he be ready for this game? We will find out around then, but I do definitely think that the Ravens take that one. And then we have KC taking on Buffalo. Now, as I mentioned, just in that game before with the Miami Dolphins right there, I feel like their defense has been really, really good. Against the Dolphins, I think they'll need to hold their own right there, especially if, you know, maybe T uh, Waddle does not play there. Tyreek Hill still a little bit hobbled, but should be good to go for that game but taking on the buffalo bills i do think that the bills especially with the way that, that defense is and the way they know how to really take away weapons and really get some pressure on the qb i do think that the buffalo bills will be able to escape this game with a win i think you're really going to see some frustration you know really come out of patrick mahomes in this game with the drops travis kelsey will see exactly how he does respond but i think the bills are going to be feeling pretty good going into the playoffs uh, after beating the miami dolphins beating 
beating the Steelers there as well. And I think they come away with a win. In the AFC Conference Championship, we're going to have the Ravens taking on the Bills. Now back to the NFC, we do have the 49ers taking on the Rams. Now again, the Rams red hot right now, coming off a victory over the Lions in Detroit. And now they do have to go, of course, to San Francisco. That is going to be a much, much harder game. San Fran as well will be very, very rested up. CMC, you know, had the little bit of a calf issue, but he is most certainly uh, going to be good to go for this game you would expect there and I think once again this is going to be maybe a little bit higher scoring than you would expect you know San Francisco's defense score is very very good but again another divisional game and these games are always a lot closer than they have to be and to be honest with you guys kind of crazy some of you may or may not agree with me but I have an upset here and I have the Rams advancing to the conference championship and finally out of the NFC we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers who will then have to go to Dallas and play the Dallas Cowboys and I really feel like that is a mismatch for the Buccaneers uh, I feel like the Cowboys defense will definitely be able to get some pressure on Baker Mayfield force a turnover or two uh, and obviously that secondary yeah, they do not want to see the Cowboys offense with how hot they have been. So I definitely think the Cowboys, if this was the matchup to come, definitely will be advancing. And we have quite the conference championship games. So back to the AFC, guys. We have the Ravens taking on the Buffalo Bills. And I think this is going to be a phenomenal game. I mean, two of the absolute best quarterbacks in the entire NFL. Uh, two of the better defenses, of course, in the NFL as well. And two very, very dominant offenses, as I said. I think this is going to be a really, really, really good game, but I do truly believe in my personal opinion when it does come to the AFC in terms of really everything, you know, offensively, uh, the balance there, defensively as well. I feel like the Ravens, when you compare them to the Buffalo Bills, I feel like it's a bit of a mismatch. And I think overall, the Ravens are the absolute best team in the AFC this year. You guys can agree or disagree with that, but my personal opinion, I have them making it to the Super Bowl. And finally, in the conference championship, this would be the Cowboys' dream scenario, would be the Rams getting the upset there and, again, having to come to Dallas. Now, we already saw the Rams taking on the Dallas Cowboys this year one time, and that game was an absolute blowout. Uh, the Rams are definitely a little bit of a different team now. Offensively, they are playing way, way better. Uh, they definitely did not click very well in that game. So I do think this is going to be, uh, again, a very close game, a very high-scoring game at that i think stafford puka nakua cooper cup they most certainly will be able to connect uh and really the key to beating dallas is the ground game i don't think that's a surprise to anybody you know you really have to try to pound the rock on them and uh, just force dak and cd to be off the field but again in dallas i think the cowboys take this and i think it's going to be a banger super bowl matchup of the Cowboys and the Ravens. And finally, guys, we have the Ravens taking on the Cowboys in Las Vegas. I think this would be really the dream scenario for the NFL. I think the NFL could not wish, could not dream of a better matchup here. Uh, I know the ratings would be absolutely sensational, but the Cowboys taking on the Ravens, this would again, of course, be a very high scoring affair. Uh, both offenses absolutely clicking. And I'll be honest, I think this would really come down to the final possession. I don't think either team has has a chance of blowing each other out but i do think in the end all be all i think the cowboys end up taking this one and they walk away super bowl champions i think the key to success here for the cowboys is of course you know hosting home field advantage getting a couple of wins over the Packers, the Bucks, and if they're able to squeak past the Rams in the conference championship, I feel like this team will be absolutely electric hot. Uh, when you really take a look at the matchups versus the Ravens, the Cowboys stack up phenomenally well. Uh, they take away the tight ends very, very well as well. So even with Mark Andrews out there, uh, the Cowboys are one of the absolute best you know, teams against tight ends. Zay Flowers would probably have himself a pretty good game, but I think Micah Parsons would be able to wreak some havoc out there and a of course offensively i do believe that the cowboys get that run game going a little bit and of course cd lamb would have a monster monster day as good as that baltimore secondary is so i do have the dallas cowboys as the 2023 super bowl champion so with that being said guys i hope you did enjoy the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like in the video and of course hit that sub button down below let me know down below which team you guys think is going to win the super bowl and make sure you guys check underdog fantasy and use code zerk Follow me over on Twitter for my picks. I definitely will be doing picks all throughout the postseason.